Over the years, we have seen players try many an iteration of face masks. New overbuilt face mask rules that the NFL put in. How are you feeling about that? Uh, I'm, I'm going to refrain from answering that question. Some of these ended up being so crazy that the NFL ultimately banned them. Let's take a look at some of the craziest face masks we've ever seen worn by NFL players. Peyton Hillis Peyton Hillis had one of the most bizarre NFL careers we've ever seen. Rising from obscurity to the cover of Madden before fading out of the public consciousness in the blink of an eye. So I guess it's only fitting that he rocks some pretty unique face masks throughout his career. Peyton Manning The longtime Colts QB was never really the suave fashion icon that his contemporary Tom Brady was. But he really took it to another level with this bizarre face mask that he rolled out back when he was with the Colts. Not only was it clunky and, well, looked rather off-putting, it almost looks like the kind of face mask you'd see a substitute Little League umpire wearing. Kurt Warner Kurt Warner is another 2000s quarterbacking legend that apparently missed the memo on donning any sort of styling face mask. His is honestly even weirder than Manning's. Not only does it have the freaky cup-shaped throat protector thing, but also that strange parallel double bar running across the middle. And only exasperating it is that off-center perpendicular bar running down the middle. I suppose it shouldn't be too shocking that a man who wore this face mask now, as a broadcaster, has an obsession with the worst jackets imaginable. Doug Williams While Warner and Manning wanted to protect their necks, Doug Williams was far more worried about his jaw. After he broke it, the team built him this preposterous, unsymmetrical, oversized mask. Its ridiculousness was only exasperated by the old Tampa Bay creamsicle color scheme. Charlie Smith Yes, Smith had the clear advantage of symmetry, but its bulkiness is something to behold. The individual bars had to be a full inch in diameter, and they ran all the way towards the back of the helmet. This thing made Smith look more like a robot than a man. But hey, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. John Grant An no, plane on the interior of the defensive line doesn't really require the most hand-eye coordination, but I'd have to think that it would be helpful to have a clearer look at the behemoth standing across from you. You know, the guy that's trying to drive you backwards. Justin Tuck Justin Tuck, the longtime New York Giants defensive end, at least had a practical reason for the absurd face mask he started wearing back in 2012. My mask was created because I had a neck injury and a shoulder injury. They talk about safety, but since I've worn the mask, I haven't had any problems out of my neck or my shoulder. Then, hilariously, the design caught the eye of his teammates, who pressured him into getting it mass-produced for them. I have to respect that kind of dedication to your appearance, even if it is rather ridiculous. Darnell Dockett Darnell Dockett is another more modern name that got swept up in the eccentric face mask craze of the early 2010s. He, however, to his credit, partook in this fad in perhaps the coolest way we saw during that stretch. Dockett rocked a mirrored multicolored visor beneath and had that gnarly looking Bane style face mask. Y'all in all, definitely one of the craziest face masks we've seen, but also one of the best. Jackie Slater Former Rams offensive tackle, Big Bad Jackie Slater, had a Hall of Fame career that spanned from 76 to 95. And in addition to being a critical force in that unit that cleared the path for Eric Dickerson to break records left, right, and center, he also gained some notoriety for wearing one of the most bizarre face masks in NFL history. It was big, it was puffy, and it had massive wads of tape. Between the literal pound of tape and those swollen bars, it is a wonder that he found his way to seven Pro Bowls and four All-Pro teams. Curtis McClinton Curtis McClinton gets a little bit of a pass for this one because, well, it was created specially for him after he suffered a cheek injury. But man, did the design team not do McClinton any favors with this eyesore. I'm sure it seemed like a good idea at the time to paint the metal straps used to affix the helm, but my... God, did he look ridiculous. Bubba Paris As far as I'm concerned, Bubba Paris wore one of the worst looking face masks we have ever seen. Not only does it jet out way too far, but frankly, it looks like it was designed without much thought at all. Thankfully, that wasn't the only one he wore during his career. There actually was a time where the hulking lineman wore a sensible face mask. Wow. Terrell Suggs 
Throughout his career, Terrell Suggs was regarded as one of the most fearsome players in the entire league. The linebacker was a perennial pro bowler and even captured Defensive Player of the Year honors in 2011. But it wasn't just his play that he used to intimidate the opposition. Suggs donned quite a few different crazy face masks during his career, most of which looked pretty damn cool on him, especially since he was terrorizing the opposing offenses while wearing them. The craziest one, however, had to be the black visor behind this insane looking grill. I'm not sure what the purpose of the triangles that go down the middle of it serve, nor am I sure they would look cool if someone like Kirk Cousins was wearing it. But for Suggs, man, it just worked. Larry Zonka There is no arguing with Larry's ability to run the football fearlessly and win football games. But I have to wonder what he was thinking with this ridiculous bullring nose protector. Look, I'm no engineering wizard, but I'd have to think that there has to have been a better way to protect the old schnoz than this. Something tells me that the rough and tumble Sanko was more into the intimidating aesthetic of this crazy face mask than any practical application that it had. Jim Otto Jim Otto, like Zonka, was a legend of his generation, both for his talent and his hard-nosed style of play. The man had nearly 75 operations, including 9 on his knee during his career. All the while, he continued to stave off opposing pass rushes despite being undersized at the center position. Also like Zonka, he decided to roll out there for a stretch of his career with a completely absurd-looking bullring face mask as well. I don't know what helmet salesmen got in front of these guys or the team's training staffs, but man. He must have been a master of his craft to sell people on these things being a worthwhile investment. Otto's version of the bullring face mask has to get the nod over Sanka's in terms of sheer craziness, though. Two reasons. One, the thickness of the bar that wraps around in front of his mouth, and two, the utter disarray that his helmet as a whole was in. The bullring piece is too long and looks bent. The helmet itself looks like it got run over by a Mack truck. Seeing the state that his headgear is in, it's no surprise that he set the bar for playing through injuries and all that. The man was clearly taking some serious blows. Keith Thonhorst Keith Von Horst is one of those sort of forgotten names of the 1980s 49ers dynasty, which, you know, I suppose is understandable considering all the legendary names on that roster. But after one look at this ridiculous face mask that he wore, you'll probably never forget the three-time All-Pro Offensive Tackle's name ever again. And the way that top portion juts out slightly further than the bottom, the entire setup just doesn't make a lick of sense to me. Especially when you look at the mask itself juxtaposed to the helmet. I don't know if it's the angle or something, but it looks legitimately bigger than the helmet itself. And who knows what is wrapped around the middle bar? Maybe tape or something? Otto Graham. Otto Graham is one of those old-timey NFL names that seem to survive time no matter what, and you know, deservedly so, because he was an impactful player on the field and is credited with being the first NFL player to wear a modern face mask. You know, that is, if you want to call this bizarre translucent band wrapped around his helmet out in front of his mouth a modern face mask. I suppose they needed to find something to get him back out onto the field comfortable and somewhat safely after a gnarly Hit left him with 15 stitches across his chin and served as the impetus for this wild first edition face mask. Number 4. Scott Player With the Snow White Fu Manchu mustache and the everyman look to him, former punter Scott Player was a man of a different generation, as was his legendary convertible face mask. This single barred face mask had the ability to be toggled up or down, so when he was punting, he would let it hang below his chin. And in the rare instances he had to make a tackle or run with a ball in his hands, he'd push it up. Hard to buy the idea that the single bar was obstructing his view or disrupting his punting process in any way but whatever. I guess this look just kind of worked for player. How about that face mask? You can't wear single bars anymore if you're coming into the league, but if you wore one, you're grandfathered in. Brian Burns While much was made about all of the Bane-style face masks during the 2010s, Panthers linebacker Brian Burns decided to blaze his own path with what was dubbed the Spider-Man mask. And yes, for those keeping score at home, Burns gets all the bonus points for rocking a crazy face mask that actually looked pretty cool too. Joe Perry Joe Perry's NFL career spanned from 1948 to 1963, long before Freddy Krueger and A Nightmare on Elm Street came crashing into theaters. But man does this freaky face mask give off major Krueger vibes. The face mask was supposed to be clear, but after one or two uses it accumulated enough sweat and dirt to look absolutely horrifying. As if trying to bring Joe Perry down wasn't scary enough of a task to begin with. This had to be absolute nightmare fuel for opposing defenses. Ladanian Tomlinson 
I don't know if it's just because LT was ridiculously talented and only he could pull this off, but golly, did he look awesome in this crazy Darth Vader face mask. Between the blacked out visor and the intense pattern on the front bars that sort of resemble Vader as well, this entire look is something to behold. The only thing that could have made him look more intimidating is if he had had a lightsaber strapped to his hip as he slashed through opposing defenses week in and week out. But which NFL face mask do you think was the craziest? And which of these looks would you like to see make a comeback? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea. Because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.